Ever been down to your last strike? That last possible opportunity to turn failure into success, collapse into triumph? You know, legendary victories are snatched from the jaws of defeat every day. But how about yours? As you might have noticed, I'm a St. Louis Cardinal fan. And speaking of last strikes, we Cardinal fans seem to live on that ragged edge a lot. October 27th last year was the evening of the infamous Game 6 of the World Series between the Texas Rangers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals, having been 10 and a half games out of the wild card race as late as August 27th, somehow were still hanging tough against what seemed to be a destined Texas Rangers team. Yet once in the 10th inning, with two outs within one pitch of losing the World Series to the Rangers, Lance Berkman got a timely hit to tie the game. Then, as if to mock fate, David Freeze, with two outs and looking at his third strike and the end of the 2011 season, clobbered the homer heard round the world off closer Neftali Feliz. Game six is one for the ages. Game six, seven at that point was irrelevant. The Rangers were toast. Now run the clock forward almost a whole year. It was last Friday evening, October 12th, and the Cardinals were playing the Washington Nationals in the final game of the National League Division Series. By the third inning, the Redbirds were down six runs to Gio Gonzalez, who's only the winningest pitcher in baseball this year with 21 wins. As the game wound down and a 6-3 lead seemed to get stale, the Cardiac Cardinals just kept chipping away. In the last two innings, Washington closer Drew Storen was one pitch away from eliminating the Cardinals 13 separate times. He was one strike away five times, but neither Yadier Molina or David Fries ever let Storen get that last strike. The Cardinals won 9-7, flew to San Francisco to begin the National League Champion Series for the sixth time in 10 years. Can you think of a time when you were down to your last strike? when it was failure or success, win or lose, depending on your next outcome? What was your belief system telling you at that moment? You see, the Cardinals not only believe they can win, they're convinced they will win. What cost is there to that belief? Their comeback from being down 6-0 in the third against Washington Nationals is the largest comeback in a do-or-die postseason game in baseball history. But you know, belief systems work the other way, too. Case in point, Greg Norman is legendary for his golf chokes, including the 1996 Masters, where he led by six strokes going into the final round, only to lose by five. Henry Ford had a great quote for these situations. He said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're usually right. I would add, whether you think you will or you think you won't, you're also usually right. They say nothing's over till the fat lady sings, meaning no disrespect to zoftig women. It's just a sporty metaphoric thing. So what are you facing right now? What do you think the outcome can be? What do you think the outcome will be? I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.